So, hello, we are joined by legendary Australian fast bowler Brett Lee. He's been part of uh, the Australian team for, I mean, decades. We've seen him do uh, some some extraordinary efforts on the field and uh, one of the most uh, threatening bowlers to, I mean, every bowler batter used to fear you. <laughs> now you. you are in a different league. Uh, so, just tell us about this Intercontinental Legends League. Uh, your thoughts on it and what is the level of excitement in you? Yeah, look, firstly, you're here to announce that the, the Legends Intercontinental T20 Cricket League is happening over in America. It's happening in Texas in August. Um, so, for us today is to announce that, but also to, it's a great opportunity for us to catch up with some old buddies. You know, you think about Parthik Patel and Graham Swan and Dilshan, guys I've had a lot of fun playing cricket against. And now here we are um, to try and battle it back out again. But it's just nice to see them off the field as well. Uh, US and uh, cricket, uh, it's, uh, it's taking a, yeah, it uh, to the next level. We are going to see the T20 World Cup being hosted and even the LA Olympics, uh, the cricket is into the system. How do you th see the, uh, the match between cricket and Olympics now? What's the future of the sport? Well, look, firstly, it's great to see cricket being played, period, um, over in the USA. I think that... They've got so many great, there's so many expats over there playing cricket. There's so many, um, I guess, subcontinent heritage players that have um, moved over there and, and people that are going there for work and still playing at um, you know, different levels throughout all around America. So that, that level of uh, attention is definitely there. You know, they want to see some cricket. I think it's really good that they are getting the opportunity to play not only in the Caribbean, but also over in the States with um, the T20 World Cup. So it's going to be a great spectacle. Okay, talking about the T20 uh, World Cup, uh, India has always been uh, one of the most talked about side whenever a World Cup happens. Uh, looking at the Indian squad, uh, do you think it's a balanced one uh, or not? Because uh, they've uh, picked up four spinners uh, and uh, fast bowling battery at little, looks a little bit slow on the side. Yeah, look, I think when you look at their squad, and I, I, I've obviously seen it, uh, there's been a bit of conjecture around with their spin. Too many spinners, not enough spinners, not enough quick bowlers. You know, like, it's, you have to have a look at where they're playing. And I think they've picked the players that are conducive to the conditions that they'll be fed. So, that said, though, I haven't even gauged my mind to get past Sunday night yet. It's all about okay. the Indian Premier League. I'll focus on that, see what happens Sunday night, and then I'll be able to reboot and then just go again. Uh, your KKR, KKR is in the final already yeah. and uh, we're going to see the qualifier too between Sunrisers Hyderabad mm. and uh, Rajasthan Royals. Uh, the way Sunrisers Hyderabad and Rajasthan Royals have played, who do you think is going to have a better chance of making it to the finals? Oh, look, I think it's going to be Sunrisers Hyderabad, KKR final, KKR to win. Okay, so Bradley predicts uh, KKR versus Sunrisers Hyderabad. Thank you.